With the advent of de-wrinkling sprays, steam dryers, and wrinkle-free fabrics, the clothes iron is something you see less and less of nowadays. Dust off that steam spitter and let's set the heat to high. You don't have to spend $30 on a laminating machine to seal up your documents. Pick up a small pack of laminating sheets anywhere office supplies are sold. Place your item into the plastic and put a towel on top. Set your iron to high and while applying heavy pressure, move it over the entire area several times back and forth and then flip the sheet over and get the other side as well. Just follow this process a couple times and then check your laminate. Should look just as good as the machined version. A pesky dent in your wood furniture or flooring can really become an eyesore after a while. You can try using wood fillers, but if you're looking for a simple solution to fixing it, just dab a bit of water directly on the dent and place a moist washcloth on top. Set your iron to high and move it over the top in a slow circular motion. Check the dent after about a minute, and just like that, you can reverse the wood damage significantly. Spilled candle wax can be a huge pain to remove if you don't get to it quick. You can try and scrape it off, but that might damage the surface. Your best bet is to set your iron to low heat and stack a couple paper towels right on top of the spill. Simply move the iron in circles over the wax and move the paper towels around too so they can soak it all up. So with just a little bit of effort, you'll have it cleared in no time. If you're ever in the bizarre situation where you have no stove, microwave, toaster, or any cooking devices really, you can always flip your iron over. Just set it to high and use it as a hot plate. I can't even really call this a survival tactic because its application entirely revolves around having a power source. But hey, it works, so at least there's that. I always hate when a cool sticker or an adhesive backed item starts losing its grip. Now you could try and tape the thing in place, but the better solution is to give it a goo boost. Rip off a small sheet of aluminum foil and hold it over your item. Take out your iron and set it to low. Now apply heavy pressure for about 15 to 20 seconds directly onto the sticker. Go ahead and smooth it out as well in case it already started peeling off. This should make your sticker tacky again and pretty much as good as new. Just like the iron pulled a dent out of wood, it can also help you with deep carpet impressions. These typically occur when you move heavy furniture that's been sitting there for a while. The true solution is to lay a moist cloth right on top of the indentions and set your iron to steam mode. Press it down and move it quickly back and forth while pressing the steam button. You'll quickly find that the carpet is returning to its normal state. When that's done, you can simply grab a hard edge and run it over everything to finalize the look. Say you're going to cook some meat, but you only want half of what's in there. You go to grab a Ziploc bag to freeze the rest, but you're completely out. Well, Improvisation says, push out as much air as possible from the meat bag and set your iron to high. Place aluminum foil over the bottom and top of the bag. Move the iron back and forth while pressing down hard. You should check the bag every 20 seconds or so until the ends melt back together, forming a perfect seal. Now just toss it back in the freezer so you can cook it up later. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more fresh content every week. Here's a couple videos I think you'll really enjoy. Just click one and keep the party going. See you next time.